Welcome to the channel. We're going to see what it would be like for IMSA to come back to the UK. We're going to be racing at Donington Park, what is the current IMSA Championship in 2001. Back then it was called the American Le Mans Series and it was Donington Park that hosted that. IMSA has been to Europe, but with the World Sports Car Championship being so global, Formula One going global, why couldn't IMSA do the same thing? Donington Park is located in the middle of England. It's actually located near Castle Donington and it was actually part of the large estate. And like a lot of landowners in the 1930s, they were motor enthusiasts and they opened up their property for racing. The capacity is 120,000. The circuit length is four kilometers or 2.5 miles. It was opened in 1931 and actually closed in 1939. It reopened in 1977 with a variation to the current circuit. It was then in the 80s that they added on the Melbourne hairpin. It's currently home to the World Superbike Series, British touring cars. It has hosted the Formula One Grand Prix in 1993. The FIM Endurance Championships race there and the European Le Mans Series, DTM and FIA GT have all raced there. Today we're going to race a full 24 hour cycle, accelerated at Donington Park. We're going to be starting at six in the evening. We're going to be driving through the night. We're going to go through a full weather cycle. We're going to start in the wet. We're going to have to make a decision on tyres at some stage. Then we're going to drive through the day as the weather heats up. I'm not sure if we're going to need to change tyres once or twice. We've got highs on accelerated degradation. So we might see a few mistakes from the other cars. So let's see how we get on. Right, can hear that wiper going. Starting in seventh place. Terrible weather. Super slippery, you can feel it on the tyres already. Lots of standing water. Gonna see if we can uh, have a good start. Oh. Right, let's get ready. Right. It's okay. It's now 16 Celsius. Just trying to hang on to it. Ooh. Visibility is really bad. Oh, oversteer. Right side. Understeer. Right is clear now. You're locking your fronts going into the cleans. Yeah. Easy out of there. See the flags flying. Temperatures decreasing. It's now 28 Celsius. Just trying to follow these cars slightly faster in some sections. Oh. Really dodgy around there. Yeah, understeer again. Yeah. Trying to keep on the back of them. Oh. 
Oh. It can't really, can't outbreak them because you just tea burn them in the side. If you accelerate too hard, you just end up massively oversteering as well. Just... Just waiting for them to make a mistake. Last lap time was at 132.78. Sector 3 is 1.3 off the pace. Nice bit of lightning. Yeah, just... Just can't get on the accelerator quick enough and... Yeah. Just got puddles there, so you end up actual planning. Yeah, they're just slightly too fast in some of the sections. Oh, did it again. If you're just a bit greedy on the accelerator, it just bites you back. And the others are catching up now. Left side. Ah, oh, great. It's clear. That's not Change ideal. Position. Don't let him through. Come on, Tim. Keep pushing. We might get him back. P5. That was a 133.87. Yeah, I think the cars behind are actually a little bit faster. Got his close behind. It's still really raining but it seems to be decreasing. On your left. Stay on your line. Still there. Clear on the left now. Can't leave it too late there because there's standing water. Oh, little tap from behind. See the sun coming up slightly, it's getting a bit lighter now. It's probably about four in the morning. Sector one is zero point three eight off the pace. Sector two time is good. Sector three is zero point nine off the pace. Set to midsummer. Our left. Clear on the left now. It stopped raining. Mm, still pretty wet hair. Yeah. Set to midsummer. Classic nighttime thunderstorm. Should clear up in the day, hopefully. Still got a bit of. Uh, Another lap or so, or an hour before sunrise. Or before we see the sun, anyway. Right. Clear right. Air 
keeps increasing. It's now 22 Celsius. All right, Tim, don't be intimidated by this little shit. Make it work for it. You've just done a 132.20. The track temperature's rising. It's now 32 Celsius. Track's drying anyway. Okay mate, watch for a mistake. Yeah. They're pretty slow into red gate. Yeah, I'm pretty slow in there as well. See the tyre temp slowly increasing now, which is going to be a problem. Still got that water there. See that dry line definitely feels faster now, but I'm trying to soak up a bit of water, cool the tyres. Definitely uh, faster on the dry stuff, but then temperatures creeping up. GTEs now. Yeah, that's a problem. Left 
Trying to get through with no contact. Really careful through here, try not to lose too much time. On your left. Left is clear. Got damage set to maximum, so I don't want any. Car on your left. Left is clear now. Any damage to slow us. Okay, temp's rising. It's now 24 Celsius. Temperature's increasing as well on the tyres. 75 now. Increasing. It's now 39 Celsius. Slower class car. Left side, clear left. Away with that. All right, Tim. The next car is Roundy. On your left, clear left. Slower class car ahead. You've got some good pace, but the tyres are really struggling. I think theirs are as well. I don't want to come in and get stuck behind the other cars again. Right, the guy ahead of us is Thompson. Slower class car ahead. See from right side. Right side is clear. Right, he's gone in. Gone then as well, so I think we're gonna have to think about it. You're approaching a group of slower class cars. On your left, the left is clear. Right behind Lopez. Your crew is ready. 
Left side. Clear on the left now. Oh, he's going in as well. Right, see what happens now. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Did say we're going to come out number one. Next car is Lopez. See how quick this is, come on. See if we can get this moving. Oh, look, they're all coming in now. Go, go, go. It takes it, looks clear. All right. Our ten eight. Lower class car ahead. So it looks like have got to come in. Car left. Clear left. Air temperature rising. It's now 27 Celsius. Okay, Tim. The next car. Car on your left. Clear on the left. So Tess Mirror and Boundy have actually jumped us. You're approaching some slower cars. These guys are fighting for position. At least we know our the slicks are gonna be fast. Right, so where are we going to shake up? P6, track oh. temps increasing. It's now P6, P5. Which is actually P4. Got to get our heads down now. Tuck, car feels so much better like this. A surprise. P4. Didn't realise. So that puts us at about P3 then. Really feel the difference. Tires gripping around there. Lead us pit now. <laughs> Eleven 
that. Oh, Charlie's in the pits. He's going to come out well behind Charlie. Careful around there. See plenty of accidents on the road with GT cars slap into the uh, faster cars. Two laps after this. Car ahead. Just can't quite get round him, not without making contact. Left side. Still there, left is clear now. Still feel that puddle. Two laps to go now, I think. Sun's going down. Heading towards a full 24 hour mark. You're coming up on some slower cars, including that class leader. Two laps left, come on. You're looking good for a podium. The last lap was at 122.75. See that sun going down now, right in the eyes. I really need to crack on with this. Celsius. Probably is once okay, they get past. Yeah, probably once they get past, they shoot off up the road, lose so much time. Car on your right. Thank you. Stay there, stay on the right. Last lap, bring it on now. That lap was at 124.24. The track temperature is falling. It's now 35 Celsius. Oh. Oof. Car on your left. 
We're not going to catch him, are we? That's it. What a brilliant race. Started in the rain. Drove through the night into the dry. Started in, uh, well, after the first corner in fourth and worked her way up to second. Great drive, that's a podium. Yes, what a brilliant circuit. Really twisty, changes of elevation. Got that new bit with the Melbourne hairpin. Really good to drive around there. On your left. Left side so yeah, now. you know, I think IMSA, you know, trying to make it more global, bring it to uh, England and a couple of circuits around Europe. And uh, hopefully uh, it'll bring the crowds in and attract more people to view it when it's on TV from America. But yeah, these cars are perfect around here. Just as they were in 2001 when they originally came over. Oh, on your left. So yeah, on thanks for left. watching. And we'll see you at the next one.